Let's begin with the Facility Locator Provider. We'll click this button near the top of the screen, and then click the red Search by Facility Type Location button. On the first drop-down menu is a complete list of all of the provider types licensed by ACCA. And this is the only place on Florida Health Finder where you can find this complete list of all provider types. And that's one reason that the Facility Provider Locator tool is so popular. Next, you can see filters that allow you to narrow down your provider search. For example, you can search for licenses that are open or are closed. You can search by name, street address, city, zip, county, ACA number and ACA field office, the license number. Affiliated individual or entity is a really neat feature because this allows you to enter the name of an individual and search for any licenses on which that person's name appears. There are also advanced search options. To see these, we need to first select a license type from the very first drop-down menu. So let's select hospital. And now we can see on the advanced search bar, if we click the little gray triangle, a second list of filters will appear. And for hospitals, this will allow us to search for hospitals by bed type, by emergency department, emergency services, license status, off-site emergency department or outpatient or surgery locations. You can search by organ transplant programs for adult or pediatrics, as well as other programs that you see here, special designations such as a statutory teaching hospital, special services, and trauma center status. Notice that if we change the type of license that we have selected, for example, if we look for nursing homes, our advanced search options will change. And now you can see options such as adult daycare services or con continuing care retirement community status. You can search again by bed type, languages spoken, license status. You can search by payment forms accepted, religious affiliations, and special programs and services. Today, let's run a nursing home search so that you can see how the facility provider locator tool works. So we'll leave our selection on nursing home. And then I'll enter a city, for example, Orlando. And we can see the name Orlando appears. And when we click that, we can scroll down and then click the red search button. This is what the results page looks like on the Facility Provider Locator. The results are in a list format, and the first column is the name of the provider, and these are alphabetically listed. The second column says type, and this refers to the type of license. And since we selected nursing home, that's the only type that we will see here. The third column has street address, then city, state, zip, phone number, and the number of licensed beds. There are three ways that we can proceed from this screen. And the first is to simply print the results as they are shown here using the embedded print button. If you are on a computer that has Excel, you can use the red export button at the top of the screen. I'll click that and show you what the export feature looks like. So let's open our file. And this is what we'll see. There's much more information here that you can save in an Excel file. And this includes the license number for all of the nursing homes on your search, the license effective date and expiration date. And this is a very convenient feature if, for example, you are an administrator responsible for maintaining the licenses for multiple facilities. Well, you need to keep up with those expiration dates. And an easy way to do that is to save a file like this with all of those expiration dates in one place. You can also see other information on the Excel field, such as street address, street, city, 
mailing address. You can see who owns this nursing home and how long they have owned this facility. We can see the name of the administrator or CEO. We can see again their profit status and even their web address if we have that on file. So there is a lot of information that you can obtain with just a few clicks using the Export to Excel feature on the Facility Provider Locator. So returning to our results page, the third way that you can proceed is by clicking the name of any of the providers in the first column. Let's click the very first one, Advent Healthcare Center Orlando East. This will take us to the Facilities Profile page. And every provider licensed by ACCA has a profile page like this one on Florida Health Finder. And the information on a provider's profile page is updated every single night. So this is the most up-to-date information that you can find for providers licensed by ACCA. This information, as you can see, includes street address and mailing address, a link to their website, as well as directions. We can see administrative information, the name of the financial officer and owner. There is an expandable menu that will show you the controlling interests and the names of board members. You can see their profit status, the number of licensed beds, and the bed types. You can see their license number and their license effective date, expiration date, and license status. If we keep scrolling for nursing homes, there's also the current daily rate of a semi-private room, the occupancy rate, and answers to some of the filters that we saw on the first search screen, such as what languages are spoken here, what payment forms do they accept, religious affiliations, and any special programs and services offered at this nursing home. There's also an emergency power plan summary for long-term care providers on their profile page. There are two additional really neat features on a profile page that you should know about. And as you can see, the first is at the bottom of the page, legal actions. This is a list of any legal actions that arose between ACCA as the licensing entity and this provider. All of the case numbers are clickable. And if we click the very first case number, for example, this is what we'll see. This takes us to a second website. This is ACCA.MyFlorida.com. This is ACCA's main agency website. This is where legal actions are housed online. And to see this legal action, we can click the blue Select button. And this is what we'll see. This is a scanned copy of the final order. And anyone can come to Florida Health Finder, click on a provider's profile page, look for the legal actions, and click to view this information. You do not need to have any login information. You do not need to work for ACA or the provider. Anyone can use Florida Health Finder to find this information. So if you didn't know that this information was out there, now you know where to find it. On Florida Health Finder, on a provider's profile page. Second feature that I would like to point out are the inspection reports. So right here under ACA reports, let's click inspection reports. Again, this takes us back to aca.myflorida.com, and we can see nine pages of inspection reports just for this one provider. So this is a lot of information that anyone can access using Florida Health Finder. Let's click the very first complaint where it says select. And this again is a scanned copy of that inspection report. And all of these reports are clickable and viewable. So here we are back on the provider's profile page. And to return to the home page of Florida Health Finder, I'm going to click the red FloridaHealthFinder.gov logo at the top of the screen. This is a very handy shortcut back to the home page.